goodness! Who are you? Allow me to explain. What?
Hey, perhaps...
going on? Why? This is the worst. This is the worst. Leave it to me. You better do your best. Do you understand?
That's not it. Hajime. Hey. I see, I see. Yes! Hey. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> Something about it.
Yep. That's about it.
Now then. Yep. Hey. Yep. Hey.
under the floor? Why? Who said it was futile? Who decided it was impossible? How did you know I cannot recover my earring? If it is possible to get under the floor, it'll change our understanding of the murder. I think, so I thought. I see. See? Hey.
That's weird. Hajime. now. So what I mean is...
I shall at the central that, my friends. Once you're there, please proceed to the <laughs> Hey, 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 hey! Ah, uh, 
No way, no way, no way! Stupid!
Yep. Then, let's begin with a simple explanation of the class trial. During the class trial, you will present your arguments for who the killer is and vote for who done it. If you vote correctly, then only the blackened will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened. And that person will earn the right to leave this island. S such a cruel rule. Before we begin, I'd like to confirm one thing. Most definitely. There's no doubt that the Blackened is lurking among you. Such a sad state of affairs, isn't it? By the way, this class trial is going to be 100% fair. So there's no need to worry. I'm the type who hates favoritism and prejudice. Well, not as much as I hate Monami, of course. You hate me that much? Now, let's begin! Y you're telling us to begin, but what are we supposed to do? No complaining, let's just settle this with our fists. Were you even 
been listening to the rules? Didn't that Byakuya bastard get killed in the dining hall? Huh? Then everyone there is a fucking suspect. Yeah, yeah. What you're really trying to say is that you're not the killer, right? No shit. You guys went off on your own and started killing each other. This has nothing to do with me. Huh? What if... Anyway, why don't we try talking about the most pressing issue on our minds? Huh. The most pressing issue on our minds? Where we found the body. It's very strange to find a body underneath the table. Then, let's start with that mystery. Why was Byakuya's body in a place like that? His body was underneath the table at the very back of the dining hall. After the killer murdered Byakuya, they probably moved the body there. Huh? Why? Obviously by hiding the body, they tried to delay its discovery. like a dog burying a bone! Why was Byakuya's body in a place like... His body was under at the very back of the dining hall. After the killer murdered Byakuya, they probably moved the body... No, that's wrong! killer moved the body. Huh? Why? Try to remember what the body looked like when we found it under the table. Though there was a lot of blood everywhere, there was no sign the killer actually dragged the body through it. So that's why you think it's impossible that the killer moved the body. I see. I get your point. Oh, and here I thought I had a genius idea. Too bad you're so stupid and boring and unpopular. Your life is meaningless. I respond better to praise, you know. But if the killer didn't move the body, why was it under the table? Byakuya was probably killed under the table. What? You think he was killed under the table? So Byakuya snuck under the table for reasons unknown. And that's when he was killed. Then, shortly thereafter, he found his body under the table. Th that does make sense, but why did he go under the table? Obviously, he was hiding so he could surprise us. That dude was always a big jokester. The hell he was? You seriously couldn't tell what kind of person he was? Hmm. Maybe he panicked. It's a blackout, not an earthquake. It just because the power... The reason why is probably connected to what Byakuya was doing during the party, don't you think?
I can prove it with this! It probably has something to do with the knife we found under the table. Knife? Oh! You mean that thing that obviously screams, I am the murder weapon! Yakuya probably noticed the knife was hidden there, so in order to get it, he moved under the table. He was particularly sensitive to the presence of dangerous items, so I cannot deny that possibility. But how did he notice that there was a knife under the table? If he knew beforehand, he probably would have done something about it before the blackout, right? Then, instead of knowing about it beforehand, maybe he saw it right at that moment. Like, for example, he might have seen someone trying to take the knife out from under the table. No, that's not possible. What? You seem rather confident about that. Of course. I have proof to back me up. <laughs> this is almost like a real trial! I'm sure Byakuya ducked under the table during the blackout. That sounds correct. If that's the case... During the blackout, Mr. Ham Hands must have seen the killer take the knife. But it was super pitch black. It was so dark I couldn't see my food. Byakuya couldn't see in the dark either. I doubt he could have seen the killer. I'm sure Byakuya during the black... That sounds correct. If that's the case, during the blackout, he must have seen the killer... But it was super... It was so dark I couldn't see my food. Byakuya couldn't see in the dark... No, that's wrong! No, Byakuya was probably the only one who was able to see in the dark. Why do you say that? He was using those night vision goggles we found under the table. He could have seen what was happening. So... Are you say Yeah, that seems... Your reasoning is out of focus! No, that's obviously wrong. It should be the other way around. Other way around? Seriously? The killer used those night vision goggles, not the Akuya. If you just use common sense, the killer obviously uses that. That's gotta be it. If you just use common sense, the killer obviously uses those night vision goggles. That's gotta be it. If you just use common sense, the killer obviously used those night vision goggles. That's gotta be it. Damn it! If you just use common sense, 
The killer obviously used those night vision goggles. That's gotta be it. If you just use common sense. The killer obviously used those night vision goggles. That's gotta be it. If you just use common sense. The killer obviously used those night vision goggles. That's gotta be it. Where's your proof that the killer used them? Because if they use night vision, then they could have killed Byakuya even in the dark. In reality, so those goggles were planted. The killer brought them to the crime scene. Because if they used night vision goggles, then they could have killed Byakuya even in the dark. In reality, that's what so those goggles were planned in advance. The killer brought them to the crime scene. Damn it! If you just use common sense, the killer obviously used those night vision goggles. That's gotta be it. I can't back down. If you just use common sense, the killer obviously used those night vision. That's gotta be it. Where's your proof that the killer used them? Because if they use night vision goggles. Then they could have killed Byakuya even in a dream. In reality, so those goggles were planned in advance. The killer brought them to the crime scene. Because if they used night vision, then they could have killed Byakuya even in a dream. In reality, that's what happened. So those goggles were planned in advance. The killer brought them to the crime scene. Because if they use night, they could have killed Byakuya even in the dark. In, in reality, that's what happened. So those goggles were planned in advance. The killer brought them to the crime scene. Because if they use night vision goggles, then they could have killed Byakuya even in the dark. In, in reality, that's what happened. So those goggles were planned in advance. The killer brought them to the crime scene. Because if they used them, they could have killed Byakuya even in the dark. In, in reality, that's what happened. So those goggles were planned and the killer brought them to the crime scene. Because if they use night vision goggles, then they could have killed Byakuya even in a dream. In reality, that's what so those goggles were planned in advance. The killer brought them to the crime scene. Because if they use night vision goggles, then they could have killed Byakuya even in the dark. In, in reality, that's what so those goggles were planned in advance. The killer brought them to the crime scene. Allow me to cut through those words. No, Byakuya was definitely the one who brought those night vision goggles. Definitely? Inside the Duralumin case Byakuya had with him during the party. 
We found a smaller case for storing the night vision goggles. Which means we can assume that the night vision goggles were kept inside that Duralumin... Woohoo! I said assume! Ibuki never uses such clever language. Plus, Byakuya was the only one who could have taken the night vision goggles out of the case, since he was carrying it around before the blackout in the first place. I see. When you put it like that, it makes sense. Then, was that knife inside the case too? If there were night vision goggles inside, it wouldn't be weird for a knife to be in there too. It would be weird. I am weird, aren't I? At times like this... Ew! You totally mean that in a perverted way! There was duct tape left under the table where the body was found. Huh? They probably hit the knife by duct taping it to the underside of the table. Oh, so that's why we found duct tape there. Though Byakuya was thorough, even he couldn't have noticed a weapon taped to the underside of the table. This may be off topic, but why was Byakuya acting? Not only did he bring a self-defense kit. That's true. He went above- Now that you mention it, that applies to the dangerous items he confiscated as well. It's one thing to be a little cautious. He probably knew. Are you saying he predicted the mur- You think so too, right? Take a look at this. Hey, the hell is this? Hajime and I found this in Byakuya's cottage. It looks like a threatening letter someone sent for him. So, who's the someone? Nobody besides Monokuma would write such- Wasn't me! Are you sure? The only lies I tell are friendly lies! Those are still lies! It doesn't matter who wrote it yet. So, Yakuya became paranoid because of this threatening letter? He probably decided to throw a party because of the letter. What do you mean? By gathering everyone in one place, he tried to create a situation where everyone could keep tabs on each other. In doing so, he tried to put the writer of the letter in a situation where they couldn't act. But the letter might have been just a little prank. As long as he was determined not to let any of us die, a strong sense of responsibility made him believe. Oh, he should have told us he received If he had, we would have panicked. Byakuya probably... So, he tried to do something about it without telling anyone? I see. A strong sense of responsibility as our leader is his undoing. Screw that noise! Who the hell wrote that letter? Well, obviously, the killer. Enough already! Show you- If they were willing to come forward, they never would have committed a murder in the first place! Um, pardon me. Can I say something? What is it, Miss Sonia? I regret that I must return to this topic, but... I just realized something concerning the night vision goggles. If Byakuya was indeed wearing those goggles, how did the killer manage to navigate in the dark? You're right. They wouldn't have been able to spot if the murderer had the goggles when they took the knife. Even if the knife bore some sort of mark, it would have been... I see! What if the glowing paint was the mark? With that, you'd be able to get the knife even in the dark. In actuality, the knife we found under the table 
and the duct tape stuck to the underside of the table were both marked with glowing paint, right? Does that mean the killer painted them in advance? But painting them with glowing paint? It's as if they, they had to have already known. Which means whoever set up the blackout is the killer. That seals it. The killer is... Which means it was... Echo killed poor Viatria? Was this island not big enough for two glasses wearers? I am not the killer. Oh, I guess she's not. How can you believe her, Spit? With Pekko's height, I don't think she... I, I don't care about a technicality like that. Pekko's the one who tripped the breaker and caused the blackout. Since Pekko was in the office... She could have caused the blackout at any time! That's impossible. Huh? Why is it impossible? Because I was not in the office. Not even before the blackout. What happened to your guard duty? Oh, you weren't in the office? That's clearly a desperate excuse! Since Pekka was in the office, she could have caused the black... That's impossible. Huh? Because I was not in the, not even before the blackout. I agree with that. No, I think Pekka was telling the truth. Mm hmm, don't. And yet, it's nothing like that at all. Nikomaru's account is actually Pekka's alibi. It's true. Someone was, and it was finally freed up. After Byakuya's body was discovered. Oh, then the person who was in the bathroom that whole time was actually... Everyone else besides Pekka was in the dining hall after the party started, right? I see. So there's no way anybody else could have locked themselves in the bathroom except Pekka. I... You locked yourself in the commode? There's no way she'd actually say that. Gosh, you are so insensitive. If she locked herself in the bathroom for that long? There's no doubt. It's shit. <laughs> hey, were you guys taught any basic manners, or were you raised in a locker room? I'm sorry. It's fine. How about we stop talking about this and move on to something else? Don't worry, the smell wasn't that strong. I used the bathroom right after you, so you can trust me. I said it's fine. But still, you were in the bathroom for a really long time. Did you get food poisoning or something? As soon as I stepped into the office, I felt this sudden rush of pain in my stomach. Because of that, I was unable- Hey, how did it feel to do your business in the dark? Did you get excited? Seriously, stop it. But still, your stomach pain. Was that really just a coincidence? Hey, what's the deal? Don't butt into other people's business, especially if you didn't do any investigating. <laughs> I'm only butting in because you fucking idiots are out of your element. Stop this childish nonsense. Just what do you mean by coincidence? What I mean is, is it possible someone slipped her some laxatives? Laxatives? If so, the killer could have tripped the breaker as soon as that girl left the office, don't you think? I see. That might have happened.
Did you eat anything weird? I don't remember eating anything weird. Now that you mention it... You brought food to the office, right? Just a little bit from the dining hall. There might have been some laxatives in it, don't you think? Turo Turo cooked the food, how suspicious! I wouldn't do anything like that! Laxatives would ruin the taste! Did you eat anything weird? I don't remember eating any- Now that you mentioned- You brought food to the office, not just a little bit from the dining- There might have been some laxatives in it- No, that's wrong! No, it's impossible that laxatives were slipped into the food in the dining hall. Because Pekka wasn't the only one who ate that food. Akane ate some of it too. If the food had laxatives in it, I'm pretty sure Akane would have had stomach issues as well. I feel totally fine. Like I said, the, the dishes are innocent. Don't go making weird accusations. I apologize for causing a scene. Fuyuhiko should apologize, not you. He's the one who made the laxative accusation. What the fuck did you say, bitch? There's this bickering. Let's just dismiss Peko's stomach ache as a coincidence and go back to discussing the blackout. Yeah, yeah. We already know that, you trashy skank. You don't have to tell us. Trashy skank? and how do they do it? If you can't answer that, I'm gonna bop you on the head. Did they throw a stone and hit it? Maybe they used a remote control? They probably messed with the breaker. It does not have to be the breaker. They may have tampered with the power supply and transmitters. Or maybe they caused a power surge? I bet it's really Monokuma's fault. By the way, I'm not a trashy skank! Who tripped the breaker and how did they do it? If you can't answer that, I'm gonna bop you on the head! Did they throw a stone and hit it? Maybe they used a remote control? Probably messed with the breaker. It does not have to be the breaker. They may have tampered with the power supply, or maybe they caused a power surge. I agree with that. It's just as Mayuru said. Of course, that's not a coincidence. Someone caused it intentionally. Which is why those three irons were arranged to cause the blackout. When you found them right after the blackout. The irons were still on, right? So by leaving those irons on in the storage room, they deliberately caused a power surge. Yeah, it seems that's how the killer caused the blackout. Stupid fool! Hold on a second, let me speak too! What the heck? You say the irons in the storage room? That's inexcusable! The irons in the storage room caused the blackout. Then for the killer to turn the irons on, you're saying they went all the way to the storage room? And that means everyone who was in the dining hall when the blackout occurred can't be a suspect. If the irons in the storage room caused the blackout, then for the killer to turn the irons on, you're saying they went all the way to the storage room? And that means everyone who was in the dining hall when the blackout occurred can't be a suspect. If the irons in the storage room caused the blackout, then for the killer to turn the irons on, you're saying they went all the way to the storage room? And that means everyone who was in the dining hall when the blackout occurred can't be a suspect. 
the irons in the storage room, Cosman, for the killer to turn the irons. You're saying they went all the way to the store, and that means everyone who is when the blackout occurred can't be a suspect. I can't back down. No, just because people were in the dining hall doesn't mean they're not a suspect. But the people in the dining hall weren't able to the iron, and the killer had to go and turn on the iron. Now do you intend to take back what you said? But the people in the dining hall weren't able to come. If the iron's caught, then the killer had to go to the storage and turn on the iron. Damn it! If the iron's in the store, then for the killer to turn the irons on. You're saying they went all the way to the- Then that means everyone who is in the- When the blackout occurred, can't be a suspect! No, just because people were in the dining hall... ...doesn't mean they're not a suspect. But the people in the dining hall weren't able to- If the irons caused the blackout... Allow me to cut through those words! The irons are just one reason the blackout the direct trigger was when the air conditioners in the dining hall and office clicked on. The air conditioners! The timers for both air conditioners were set to 11.30 p.m. 11.30 p.m.? Mr. Ham Ham's died around that time, too! I see. When the timers activated the air conditioners, the breaker was tripped and caused a blackout. I see! I understand! Indubitably? They probably checked the old building's energy usage in advance and used the irons to nearly max it out. So once they set the air conditioner's timers, they just had to wait until they started up on their own. If so, even if Pekka was in the office, it still would have been possible to cause a blackout, indubitably. Indubitably? Miss Sonia? Regarding the energy usage, they probably asked Monokuma about it. Dun dun dun! Is she right? Such a hateful fear! You deserve to die a thousand deaths! A thousand, you say? If I died, shut up! You guys just stay quiet! I couldn't have prevented the blackout even if I was in the office. If I was in the office, I could have reset the. No. The breaker in the office was built. Resetting the breaker in that dark. Sounds like you don't need to blame yourself. Even so, the killer is so sly. I'm starting to worry we may never actually- It's alright. Because... They're just a petty killer. There's no way every- In the end... N Nagito? Huh? Well... You have been saying this- Oh. Huh. Is that so? Well... For now... We found out how the blackout occurred. But the question is, who caused it, right? Anybody could have hid and set the timers for the air conditioners. Setting up the irons in the storage room could have been done before Byakuya set foot in the old building. What a shame. Any one of us is capable of that. What are you implying? He's just saying. After all this time, we still haven't made any progress. Huh? Even though we have been arguing for so long? Unfortunately, it's despite the fact that we've discussed this, but that might be because... You, you're changing your story again? Anyway... I have an idea about what we all should do at this point. Has anyone thought about our situation like this? Instead of surviving by doubting others... Is... Doesn't that mean... Nagito, there's definitely something wrong with you. <laughs> you guys only think there's something wrong with me because there's something wrong with you. Suspecting each other like this... Let's stop this already! I can't stand this anymore! I... I don't... <laughs> Me too! <laughs> I want to go home and eat candy! Stop it. Everyone calm down. We're all friends. Well, then why did Byakuya die? Who cares? There are no clues that lead to the killer anyway. That's wrong, I think. Did you say something? Uh, we've already found a clue that might point to who the killer is. You know who the killer is? The killer? I don't know. So we do have a clue about a suspicious person. I think... I see. First of all, let's try thinking about how the killer was able to obtain the knife during the blackout. Didn't we already cover that? They use glowing paint as a mark. No, not that.
Try examining the situation. My hero's diagram might be useful here. The diagram of where everyone was standing before. desk lamp to move to that table in the dark. The desk lamp? I... There was a blackout. There's no way the killer... I can prove it with this! They didn't turn the desk lamp on. They used its power cord. Power? They could have felt their way to that table using the power cord, right? By doing that, the killer was able to move to the table and use the glowing paint to find the knife. And there's only one person here who could have done that. Wasn't it? Me? Judging from everyone's positions before the blackout, the only person near the power cord was you. Which means the only one who could have felt their way to the table using the power cord was Nagito! <laughs> That's just a coincidence. But still, you had a chance, right? A chance to hide the knife under the table? See. Nagito, weren't you pissed so? You would have had a chance to hide the knife. That's... If you factor in the power cord and the time you spent cleaning, you're the only one who could have done it. Seriously? That's all just a coincidence. If it was just one coincidence, it'd be... I wonder... If could it be? Did you give yourself cleaning duty on purpose so you could hide the knife under the table? Now that you mention it, Nagito did prepare the drawing to pick who cleaned the dining hall. You rigged the drawing, didn't you? That's how you got picked to clean the dining hall, is- I don't know if you're the killer or not. If that's the case, that strange speech you made her- You got us to lower our guard and tried to hide the fact that you did it. Didn't you, you motherfucker? Well, just admit it already! <laughs> Nagito, tell me you object to this. We investigated together. You were so confident. <laughs> Nagito. <laughs> the ultimates are working together to combat the dis- uh, How wonderful! How beautiful it is! Huh? Let's cut to the chase. You're correct. It was my doing all along. I'm the one who hid the knife under the table before the party started. I'm the one who used the power cord to find my way to the table in the... And of course, I'm the one who caused the blackout. After all, there's no way I'd knowingly whip out a knife in front of everyone, right? Uh, is it just me, or does he seem a little nuts right now? But I never expected Byakuya to have night vision goggles. Because of that, we had ourselves a little scuffle with a twist ending like this. I <laughs> Yakuya performed admirably. Just stop it already! Don't tell me. Is this me? 
fly? That's out. I understand better than anyone else that I'm ultimately worthless. I'm too arrogant to have dreams or cling to hope. I've made peace with the fact that I'm a lowly... Holy crap! He's totally the type of... He seems like the sort of person whose eyes light up. That's quite the hobby you have there. But, like... Hey, Nagito. If you were behind all of this... Yep. There's nobody else on this island whose hand... But why would you send a threatening letter in the... I think... Somewhere... Well... I bet if that really was my... Are you making fun of us? By threatening Yakuya, Nagito was likely able to manipulate his actions. In doing so, Nagito was able... That reminds me. Threatening letter, along with all your suggestions. Yep, that's true too. But you're wrong. Uh, huh? I didn't need to rig the drawing for cleaning duty, you know? If that's true, then how did you conveniently get picked for cleaning duty? I see. Well, there's no way. I see! You're the ultimate lucky sp. That's right. I just trusted my luck. I trusted I'd be picked for cleaning duty. You just relied on your luck? It's not just luck. It's true my talent sucks, but I... At the time, Hajime said I wasn't lucky. I was lucky. That's why I got picked for cleaning duty. Just like I wanted. Enough. That, importantly, why did you kill Byakuya? Answer me! Byakuya was a very capable leader. It's only fitting that you symbols of hope should use his... That was my only motivation. You're not making any sense! Fine, let's start the damn photo. Please! Monokuma! Please! Please! Huh? Um... Is... Um... What are you saying? I, I already know that, but... If it's only a little, then keep your mouth shut. Your ugly face is... <laughs> um, for now. But you know who the killer is. Simply listening is... acceptable. However, I won't allow this to end with mere play. Now then, let us... has already confessed. Um, you know... That bastard Nagito is the one who did it! He killed Byakuya with a knife he hit! Oh, never mind! Thanks for wasting our time, skanky bitch! Then let's prepare to cast our goats. Is so obviously Nagito. Um, he has already confessed. Um, you know that bastard Nagito is he killed Byakuya with a knife he hit. No, that's wrong. That knife might not be the murder weapon. That's what the hell are you talking about? It's obvious the knife was the murder weapon. But Based on the entry wounds on Yakuya's body, the actual weapon should be roughly five millimeters in diameter. Five millimeters in diameter? That's like way skinnier than a knife! Hey, that better be true. If. <laughs> Not a whorehouse! Hey, why are you threatening her? Is this what you're trying to say, Mikan? As long as we can't prove that the knife is the murder. 
What do you say? Hey, don't blame me. Peacock's the one who said it. I'm sorry. Hey, Nagito. Uh, hi. Like, during the blackout, did something happen between you and Byakuya that we don't know about? Who oh, no. knows? After all this, what? Jeez, the moment your back's against the wall, you get a... What happened during the blackout? Hmm. Mm hmm. Ugh! If you cross your eyes like that... Don't get distracted! Our lives... Huh? Seriously, how long is it gonna take for you to understand the damn rule? Nobody can see in the dark. No matter how hard you think, don't you think that's a pretty clever metaphor? No, that's not it. Not it. I can prove it with this. Even if we couldn't see what happened in the dark, isn't that right? You oh, real? You were the one who told me, remember? Uh, everyone! Ah! Don't step on my feet! What the hell? What the... the Ow! Turn the damn lights on! I can't eat like this, you... You guys? Where are you? Perhaps the breaker overloaded? Hold on a sec. I'll go along the wall and... Such perceptive hearing. It's a good thing your ears are awesome because your face, style, figure, and personality totally suck. <laughs> You've cut me deep with your knife of truth. However, after hearing what Byakuya and Nagito said in the dark... What the hell? What's going on here? This, this is... Ow! It almost sounds like... Well, that... As a sign of respect for Ibuki's, I was actually shoved out from under the table by Byaku. He... Just as the blackout occurred, I hurried to duck under the Byakuya, wearing his night vision goth. That's right. I'm so in inco- What the hell? What the- Ow! After getting shoved out from under the table, I lost sight of the glowing paint. And I didn't even know where the power cord was. Before I realized it, the lights had come back on. Byakuya. Oh, hold on! Are you saying you're not the killer? From the very beginning. Yeah, hiding the knife, setting up the black app, but unfortunately, my plan failed. And all thanks to Byakuya's night vision goggles. What happened after that? You failed? Then we're right back to square one! How can that be, Wisp? But you can't give up! Rising to the challenge again! The knife isn't the murder weapon. Shut up! Y you say you were shoved away. That's right. Even if a different weapon was used, it does. But, but there's another reason. There's to based on what we've discussed. Is there something wrong with? Well, even if that's true, I feel nuggy. Nobody's ever complimented me on my appearance. <laughs> Are you trying to say something like, 
why didn't... Yes! Because under the table, there was a lot of blood splattered everywhere, right? There were even blood stains on the inside of the tablecloth. He stabbed Byakuya to death. It's strange he did not get splattered with an appropriate amount of blood. I didn't get any blood on me. That is weird. <laughs> you just used something to block the blood, didn't you? Something that might have been used to... Hmm. I guess we did see something I could have used. It with this, you're talking about the bloodstained tablecloth we found. If there are blood stains on it, that settles it. But that was found in the storage room, right? Are you suggesting he hid it there? After you mean after the lights came back on? That's true. The tablecloth was pretty big, so he's wearing a tablecloth going under the table. That's not just impossible for someone like me. Wouldn't it also be impossible for you guys? To then, what does it mean? Maybe the killer didn't necessarily. No, there's no. Even the inside of the tablecloth was bloody. But that doesn't mean where Byakuya got stabbed. I don't understand at all. Huh? What? Really? I feel like I'm onto something. Under the table, but not on moving forward. We should put aside all. Oh, my God. 
Floorboards? The floorboards in the old building are full of gaps, and there was no carpet laid out under the table. If they stuck the weapon through one of the gaps, they could have stabbed Byakuya to death. If so, that means the killer was able to get under the floorboards. I don't know that yet, but I have a feeling. the only one! Hey Gundam, you dropped your earring in the dining hall. Are you referring to the Hellhound earring? About that earring. I said. About that Hellhound earring. You dropped it beneath the floor. Just a bit long. However, it's just as the old legend. Is it safe to say that that earring is the one, huh? Gundam wasn't wearing an earring during the investigation. And if he had it on by the time the clap. And that means Gundam was able to retrieve his earring from beneath the floorboards during the investigation. So. <laughs> it's understand, but I am different. With the power of my four dark devas of destruction, it is of no concern. True, this is before the might of the evil fourth eye. All visual chaos is rendered asunder. What should I do? I'm embarrassed just listening to him. Oh, man up and speak more clearly. Fine, I shall tell you all. One of my four dark devas of destruction, Mirage, a secret passage of doom leading to the underground, lurks beneath a large assortment of... After securing a lighter from the supermarket, I threw caution to the wind and vent... And as a result of that lonesome battle... <laughs> there he goes, blabbing about power and crap. You're ridiculous. You're just a breeder, you know. Anyway... It sounds like you can go under the floorboards from the storage room. And that has to be how the killer did it. If the space beneath the floor is empty, it's not that far to move from the storage room to the dining hall. I see. If they pass through the storage room, I understand why the tablecloth was put there. The killer lurked under the floorboards during the party, and from there... Hmm. You don't like stab, stab, stab? I'm not talking about your sound effect. You're saying they snuck under the floorboard, so was there any- Then whoever wasn't at the party is the killer. They- Who wasn't at the party again? I didn't participate, but I was guarding the entrance room. Yes! This Monami over here is your witness! I believe there's no need to discuss this matter further. I was in the kitchen for a long time, but I frequent- Um, the only- Judging from the photo I- Ob Yay! It's just what, what the fuck are you saying? I'm not the killer! Oh, really? What happened to the tough- Don't mess with me! I'll fucking kill you! See? You're making threats again! Yep, yep, that's right! Things- During 
the party to kill her. Was lurking under the floor like a cockroach. And they could have stared at panties all day. Without going to the storage room in the dark. Is that true, Fuyuhiko? Don't act like I'm the fucking killer! But when the party started... Nobody saw you, you know. That means you have no alibi. The culprit is self-evident. During the party, the killer was lurking under the... And they could have stared at it without going to the store. Is that true for you? Don't act like I'm the fucking killer. But when the party started, nobody saw you, you know. That means you have no alibi. No, that's wrong. No, Fuyuhiko definitely ha- Um... I saw Fuyuhiko after the party started. You should have said that earlier, dumbass. It's still your fault. Like, why were you even- Sh Shut up! Maybe there really is a secret passage to go- What'd you say, motherfucker? Oh, no! <laughs> Wow, he got chewed out, but he looks super happy. Regardless, it's impossible to go under the floorboards from outside. Chiaki and I already confirmed that. And someone definitely went under the floorboards through the storage room during the party. During the party? If, well, if someone disappeared during the blackout, no one would have noticed. Walking down that dark hallway to the storage room is like trying to make eggs benedict without any eggs. You're right. I couldn't even see the office in that darkness. But is it real? It might be better if we examine that- It was super dark, you know? It appears with the blackened or the spotless. Which- The hallway was really dark during the blackout. Moving to the storage room like that... It's like making a seafood bowl without fish! Is it really not possible? What if they used the string like the cord? Maybe there was another pair of night vision goggles? What a pain, I'm gonna go with my gut. What if they used a light? The hallway was really dark during the blackout. Moving to the storage room like that... It's like making a seafood bowl without fish! Is it really not possible? What if they used a string like the cord? Maybe there was another pair of night vision goggles? What a pain, I'm gonna go with my gut. What if they used a light? The hallway was really dark during the blackout. Moving to the storage room. Is that making a seafood? Is it really not? What if they used a string? Maybe there was another pair of night vision goggles? What a pain. I'm gonna go with my gut. What if they used a light? It definitely sounds impossible. The hallway was really dark. Moving to the storage room. Is that making a seafood? Is it really not? What if they used a string? Maybe there was another pair of night vision goggles? What a pain. I'm gonna go with my gut. What if they used a light? I agree with that. You know, the oh, I was. But where could they have found a light? There was one nearby for sure. See? It's the portable stove. Portable stove. The portable stove isn't powered by electricity, so the killer used the portable stove. Let's see. I never considered. Oh. What? 
Oh, I wasn't making a perverted joke or anything. Repeating yourself just makes it even more suspicious. Now then, Hajime. No, that's wrong! Will you be able to... Did you forget what Kazuichi said earlier? He said the hall was too dark to see the office. The light from the stove that you mentioned, it contradicts his testimony. Or are you intentionally doubting his testimony? I can't back down! I don't doubt what Kazuichi said. What are you trying to say? The reason Kazuichi couldn't see the office was because the hallway was dark, right? So if a light was shining in such a dark hallway, wouldn't Kazuichi have seen it? After all, he was walking near the hallway, right? The reason Kazuichi couldn't see the office was because the hallway was dark, right? So if a light was shining in such a dark hallway, wouldn't Kazuichi... After all, he was walking near the hallway, right? Damn it! Did you forget what Kazuichi said earlier? He said the hall was too dark to see the office. The light from the stove that you mentioned. It contradicts his testimony. Or are you intentionally doubting his testimony? Did you forget what Kazuichi said earlier? He said the hall was too dark to see the office. The light from the stove that you mentioned. It contradicts his testimony. Or are you intentionally doubting his testimony? I don't doubt what Kazuichi said. What are you trying to say? The reason Kazuichi couldn't see it was because the hallway was dark, right? So if the light was shining in such a dark hallway, The reason Kazuichi couldn't see the office was because the hallway was dark, right? So if a light was shining in such a dark hallway, wouldn't Kazuichi have seen it? Crap! The reason Kazuichi couldn't see the office was because the hallway was dark. So if a light was shining in such a dark hallway, wouldn't Kazuichi have seen it? After all, he was walking near the hallway, right? The reason Kazuichi couldn't see the office was because the hall. Oh, it was dark, but so if a light was shining in such a dark hallway, wouldn't Kazuichi have seen it? Allow me to cut through those words! Nagito, did you forget? Huh? There should have been a wall that blocked light. I'm talking about the fire door. If you close it, it would form a perfect wall in the hallway. Plus, the hallway rounds a corner just beyond the fire door. So even if there was a small gap in the door, as long as they passed the corner, the light still wouldn't peek out. I see. I actually noticed the- Oh! You- Who cares about that right now? Nagito, what are you plotting? For someone who insists- You sound so scary. If you're that angry, why don't you take a deep breath? You sure like to piss us off. How about I shut your fucking mouth for you? Hey! It's okay if you guys fight. More importantly, can you hurry up and decide- Fine, I get it. You're telling- we're going to ask the real killer. <laughs> if you think I am, whatever conclusion you ultimates arrive at. You're the 
only one! Terry Terry. Huh? What? What are you talking about? Terry Terry's the killer? What are you talking about? There's no way! Of course, that's simply my assumption. So if... Uh, objection or not? Because the portable stove used... To that's it? That's the only... You're cruel! Ah... Uh, for the ultimate cook to get so up to call me chef. If you fall to aspersions like this... Well, that's right. For the future of... You, you so, what's an aspersion anyway? Is it yummy? Did you know asbestos is yummy too? Nagito, why are you interfering? Let's assume that the killer used a light. And that they moved to the storage room. It's dark under the floorboards too. You're not gonna say they shined the light on Byakuya. That's right. That's... There's no way you can answer, right? If that's the case, then Gundam should know. He actually... No. Unfortunately, the only thing I found was a strange liquid shining in the darkness. What? That sounds super important! If there was a shining mark like that, they would have been able to move to it in the dark. And in doing so, it might have... It with this the mark you're talking about is the glowing ah, by using the glowing paint as a target i see the killer didn't target an actual person they just struck that would be the moment someone grabbed a hold of the knife so the killer used the mark that i prepared for finding the knife i see that but if they were able to do that wouldn't that mean the killer? Well, Teru Teru! Seriously, I don't know. Then can I ask everyone? You again? Just stop already! N now, now. If Teru Teru is the killer, that would mean he went to the storage room during the blackout. And just what did he bookie here? Ah! Don't up. What the hell? <laughs> Ow! Turn the damn lights off, you guys. Where are? He heard. Doesn't that prove Teru Teru? That's what. But Teru Teru was in the kitchen the moment the blackout occurred, right? I, I thought the blackout was only. Of course, the hallway was dark too, but. Well, it's not that far to move along. That sounds fishy. If I remember correctly, you can tell when a person is. Oh, if you want. No way! You look greasy. But I heard Teru Teru's voice in the dining hall. Ibuki swears on her honor. That's right. Teru Teru was in the dining hall, not the store. No, that's not it. What? Why do you want to keep this? You should be so proud of yourself. Now, Rajume, show me. Let me ask you again. Did you go to the storage room during the blackout? There's no way I went to the storage room. I was somewhere totally different. I definitely heard Teru Teru's voice. It's handsome, unlike his face. Maybe it was recording or something? Nope, definitely a live voice. Right, as long as I have a testimony. The fact that I was in the dining hall cannot be disputed. I'll shoot through that contradiction. Just because we heard Teru Teru's voice in the... Huh? Remember the floor in the dining hall? It was full of gaps, right? So even if you shouted from under the floor... But, 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 but... I see. So he brazenly shouted... Is that true, Teru Teru? Hold on a second! Can you explain this, Teru Teru? I told you to wait a second, ain't I? What are y'all even saying anymore? I'm telling you I was in that there dining hall during the blackout. Where are you from again? I was born in West Asafu and raised in South Ayuyama. Hey, you guys. This guy's a major liar. If Terry Terra was in the dining hall during the blackout... Well, I believe so. There's no way he... Huh? Was Terry... I, I sure was. I was there the whole damn time. Something like this shouldn't be decided by gut in... Damn right! You guys should have been deciding this on the spot with your hazy memories! His accent is getting even worse! He 
He's definitely lying. However, I am not sure. I believe that he was there. No. Why don't we consult his memory? Gosh, yeah, don't be saying things like that don't make no sense. Can you even prove I wasn't in the data hall? Probably can. Oh, 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 you again. I can prove it with this. If you're claiming that you were in the dime, then you should know how Mikan was specific. Whoa. No! Don't... No. This is a very important question. Well, Toe Town, if you were caught, it was a pretty clever way of tripping. There's no way you'd forget about it so easily. Eh? I'm sorry. Uh, how about it? Um, huh? Uh... There's no way it would slip from your mind, especially not a pervert like you. Uh, um, even so... <laughs> Nagita! Wait! Give up, Teru Teru. I'm disappointed too, you know. It's lonely watching someone I admire re- Nagito, what are you doing? Uh, ho hold on a sec, don't go moving this along on your own li Huh? But it's our no, 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 no. no matter what it had to be cleared up. It's no use. I can't understand him anymore. It appears he's saying you understand, but it's such a sad thing. Oh, you calling me the killer? Then where's the weapon? Come on, Manumi. Enough with the um. He said weapon, huh? Judging from Jackie's wounds, it was a. Also, if they stabbed from under the floorboards. After all this, not good enough. Not good enough. He said. No, fine. I got it. Wanna do it? Wanna do it? Um... <laughs> what a confusing accent! The weapon must come huh? before the party as Biak. So that missing iron skew? An iron skewer would match up with the wounds perfectly. Hey, Teru Teru, where'd you hide the iron skewer? Ah, uh, ah, uh, Avalabine! Avalabine? Huh? Did he really just say that? He's just saying random shit to fuck with us. You probably. This school trip has a no littering rule. Island Sirens? Also, I was on guard duty. Which means... 
It's probably the kitchen. Teru Teru, just man up. Oh. Inside the piece of meat on the bone. What are you saying? That's clearly impossible. Impossible. That's what Biaki and. But in fact, the only place you could hide the weapon was inside the food that couldn't be inspected. Out of all the dishes you prepared, the only one that can meet on the bone. What now? 
I'm using my right to remain silent. There's no way that exists here. We need to confirm this now. So if we eat that tasty looking piece of meat and find the iron... All right. Monokuma. One minute. Wait, now, hold on a second. Top. What are you doing? Uh, okay. huh? I. Ah! Uh, wait. Now that I. Th ah! Now, damn it! That's my me. I've never eaten anything like it in my. This is my my. Look what came out. <laughs> is is that an iron skewer? Check it out. Handle. The sword of destruction! In case as expected of terror. You're wrong! I'm not I got it! You all set me up! You guys set Jeez, such an unseemly defense for an old Hey Nagito! He said, you're all nothing but a bunch of you. You don't need to translate anymore. I guess we need to settle this. To do that, we need to go over the entire... So, we need to do it.
Everything that happened in this case. Let's try going over the whole incident, beginning with right after the party started. Yakia had us gather in the dining hall of the old building near the hotel. He was extra cautious about a murder occurring that night because of a threatening letter he received. Therefore, he decided to throw a party so he could monitor us. Though one person didn't come, the rest of us assembled at the dining hall, and the party was underway. But at that time, the trap set by a certain someone was already in motion. They plugged three irons into the outlets in the storage room, which nearly capped the power usage. Additionally, they prepared something else that would activate at 11.30 p.m. The air conditioners in the office and dining hall. They had already set the timers for these. Thanks to the irons maxing out the power usage, the breaker was tripped when the air conditioners kicked on. Since the windows in the old building were covered, the blackout plunged the dining hall into total darkness. But when that happened, Byakuya took out a specific item that he brought in his case. That item was the night vision goggles. Byakuya was so concerned about a murder occurring that he brought a variety of security equipment with him. When he put on his night vision goggles, Byakuya witnessed a certain someone making a suspicious move. He saw Nagito guiding himself with the desk lamp's power cord so he could get under the table. That's right, everything up to that point was all part of Nagito's plan. The murder warning to Byakuya, the source of the blackout, it was all Nagito. While the blackout was happening, someone else, the real killer, began making their move in the kitchen. The killer probably already knew about Nagito's plan, so they knew a blackout was coming. That's why the killer prepared all the items they would need to commit their crime in the dark beforehand. They needed a light source, which was provided by the portable stove in the kitchen. They needed a weapon, too. This had also been hidden in the kitchen beforehand. The long iron skewer used in the churrasco dish. The killer hid that inside that meat with the bone in it. With the weapon and portable stove in hand, the killer stepped out into the hallway. First, they closed the fire door in the hallway so their light source wouldn't peek toward the dining hall.
Then, guided by the light, the killer headed toward the storage room and grabbed a specific item. That's right, a tablecloth to block the blood splatter. With this, the killer finished their preparations and snuck under the floorboards through the secret passage. They probably turned off the portable cooking stove at that point, or left it near the entrance of the door. The floor in the dining hall is full of gaps, so there's no way they could have safely held a light source. But thanks to the glowing mark they painted earlier, the killer was able to get beneath the table. Under the table, Biakia found the knife that had been hidden there. If only he had retreated, he probably wouldn't have gotten killed. He had to retrieve that knife, and at that moment, The killer lurking beneath the floorboard stabs straight up with the iron skewer. The killer had been waiting in the dark for the moment when the glowing paint began to move. After they murdered Byakuya, the killer purposefully shouted from beneath the floorboards to make it seem like they were still in the dining hall. Afterward, they came out from underneath the floorboards and rushed back to the kitchen. And then, after hiding the murder weapon in the kitchen, they rejoined the group as if nothing had happened. There's only one person who would have been able to commit this crime. Especially if that person is someone who'd think of an unexpected way to hide a weapon inside food. Isn't that right, Teru Teru Hanamura? That's what happened. How about it? Did I get anything wrong? This is a mistake. A mistake, I tell you, I would never, I would never, would never. <laughs> it seems. Your argument. Oops! I lost control of my wild side for a second. Was that a side effect of the meat I just ate? Well, putting that aside, let's move along to the nerve-wracking voting time. Now then, please pull the lever in front of you and cast your vote. Oh, just a reminder: make triple sure you vote. If you don't vote, I'm gonna eat you up just like that meat from earlier. <laughs> Why did this happen? Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will
When that happened, he... You caught me? What? Hey! Well... What? <laughs> Amazing! I... Guide you all. <gasps> hmm. Why? <laughs> Such despair. <laughs> no way. Someone like. How 
everyone expected.
Right. Right? Man. <laughs> Great! Impossible! Hey, hey! Okay, I'm going now. When I come back, I think we should talk again about opening- Oh my. Oh, I'm serious. Yet yeah, so? I know it's gonna- Yes, you're right. Then I'll just have to do my best to keep the Hanamura Diner from going out of business until then. Mom, you don't have to- I'll be fine. I won't lose-
damn it! Blah, 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 blah. How cruel! Wah wah! No! What are you saying? <laughs> nice! me off. What? How unfortunate. Isn't that right? Hey. Let me... You... F well? Perhaps... I am sorry! Yes. Like... <laughs> Jeez... Well? Right? But... I'm gonna do it! Fine. Is someone watching me?
for a long time. Even if we weren't told this directly, you'd know it just by looking at the internet, TV, But people who can't win, they are all... There are two kinds of people in this world. Those... No matter how hard a lowly human tries, they will never be the same as someone who was born worthy. say that effort breeds success, but that's a complete lie. The world is not that accommodating. No matter how hard a small dog tries, no matter how much a penguin tries, there's no way it will ever soar through the sky. Which means, unworthy humans will never become worthy. People with talent don't become talented. They're just born with their- That's right. Just like you guys. Uh, just so you know. What I feel admiration is wishing you could. But what? How should I put it? What I feel is more pure, more like a selfless love that wants. Me. So I don't mind if you kill me, but if that, I don't care if the killer survives. I just want. I want to see with my own two eyes. Yep. Someone as insignificant as me will be there when hope and despair collide. So please, if you're planning, I want you to use me as a stepping stone so... Everyone can... Like that, it smells. Huh? It can't be. Hmm. Um. Hey, hey, hey! Now that you mention it. Ha <laughs> ha 
It appears you cannot escape. <laughs> Thank you. 